Hi guys, Michelle here. Um, I'm back again. I did record yesterday. I'm going to record again this morning simply because I was uploading the video yesterday and as I was watching other podcasts, I got tagged in the Crafty, Goal, Crafty Goals 2018 by Elizabeth, a crafty crocheter. So I thought I would do a quick video answering those questions as a separate video rather than wait till next week because you might not be interested in it so if you're not you don't have to watch the video if you are thanks for stick sticking around so i will just get straight on to it question one which of your current whips are you most looking forward to finishing first in 2018 well technically i've already finished whips that i bought into 2018 so my jumper would have been that answer had I been tagged earlier. Um, but as my current whips that are ongoing, I am really looking forward to finishing Logan's jumper because he is always so excited and so appreciative when I make him things. It's going to be lovely because he specifically requested this jumper to see his little face when it's finished and he can put it on. You can't beat that. Having your, your little ones appreciate what you make, it's an amazing feeling. The other thing probably is the Honey Blossom Shawl. Um, it's all the trouble that a lot of us have had with it. I'd be quite pleased when it's done. Um, I think it's getting more enjoyable now. It seems to be working a bit more. I did some more yesterday and the shape is evening out. So I'm looking forward to getting that finished and drawing a line under it. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Um, Number two, which project are you most excited about starting in 2018? Probably the Repeat Craft of Me Christmas Blanket that is running as a cow from Terry at Yarn Joy podcast. Really looking forward to getting on with that because I've not done graph gowns before, so it's going to be something new. Um, and the other thing is, I've, last year I really wanted to make a hotel of bees and I couldn't for time restrictions. So I really want to get doing that this year. I'm going to make a hotel of bees. Looking forward to that. Question three. Are there any new crochet stitches or techniques you'd like to try in 2018? Well, I haven't done a graph game before and I've only just sort of started learning C to C. So a graph game would be good, which I am doing. And I'd also like to learn Tunisian crochet, um, just because I feel it's like a hole in my skill set that I want to learn it. <laughs> so yeah, those two, really. Question four, will you be participating or would you like to participate in a crochet along in 2018? Well, I already am participating in the Honey Blossoms Shawl Cow by Yarn Journey P Crochet Podcast. The Crisscross Shawl Cow, which is Olanand Magazine and Crochet Circle podcast. And I'm about to start the Christmas Blanket one from Yarn Joy podcast. So I already am in quite a few. Um, I would have liked to have done the Solar System Cow by Two Hearts Crochet. But I don't really have time for it. So I probably will make that blanket later on in the year. Um, just not as part of the cow. Um, I'm all, also finishing off my spicier life, but the cow's finished, so. Um, but I will finish it. And Crochet Luna, Claudia, is about to start a fortune cookie cow um, at some point this year, I think February time, I think it is. Um, that might be quite interesting, so I'm looking forward to having a go at that one. Number five. Do you have any yarn goals for 2018? There is no way I'm going to say buy less yarn because it's not going to happen. Um, but what I am going to do as a more realistic goal is to use more of my stash first. That's why one of my resolutions this year, I don't really have resolutions, so it is my only one. Um, is to try and make sure at least one project at a time is using stash yarn 
or is a resurrected whip that needs finishing. Um, when we moved house, um, coming up to a year ago now, we had boxes and boxes of yarn that I had kind of forgotten I even had. It's all, they're all sitting there in the garage. It all needs organising. And I think that's one of my goals, to get that organised. So I know what I've got, and then I can go through projects I want to do in my queue in Ravelry and go, I can use that, that stash yarn for this. Then I will make something on my queue and use up stash yarn. That's the idea. So fingers crossed, I will be able to stick to that one. Question six, which crochet projects would you like to see more of in 2018? Um, I, I don't know if it's just that I can't find them or if they don't really exist and I'm looking for something that isn't there, but I would like more projects that are aimed at little boys. And I don't mean like character blankets or toys, because I know there are plenty of those, um, but clothes wise, you know, jumpers would be good. Mainly because Logan is really excited for me making him this jumper and I know he's going to want the jumper again and again and again. And I can't knit, and I know there are lots of those sort of things that are knitted for little boys. But I would like to make something for him, crocheted, so yeah. Better projects for little boys, I think. Um, more one skein projects because I am getting quite into my hand dyed yarn, and when I see a pretty hand dyed yarn, my budget doesn't necessarily allow me to buy several skeins. I can buy one, maybe two, and um, especially as I'm looking now to reduce my hours at work, my budget is going to go down very soon. So, more one skein projects so I can buy that pretty skein and feel happy and be able to use it on something rather than just look at it, you know. And what else? Move on, question seven. Shout out a fellow crocheter you were excited to watch in 2018. There are far too many to name one. I'm going to name a few, but if you're not in this list that's just popping into my head, as I speak. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. I love watching everyone. I'm so new to this this whole podcast, crochet yarny podcasts, that there's probably some I haven't even discovered yet. And I'm discovered new ones every day and I'm loving it. I think it's great. Um, I'm very into, um, let me think, Lottie and Albert. I love watching Lottie and Albert. She's really really sweet to watch. Um, sweet, that sounds a bit... I know what I mean. <laughs> um, who else? Random, random Randy. I enjoy watching her. I like watching her little boys that come and join in occasionally. Who else? Uh, Crochet Luna, of course, Claudia. I, I really love her podcast. It's all very positive and calming and I think the word zen but that doesn't sound right <laughs> um but i get a good feeling when i watch claudia crochet luna podcast so um blah, blah, blah. terry at yarn joy recently started watching her i'm really enjoying seeing her projects and yeah they were loads so yeah um who else what else are there any projects you made in 2017 you'd like to make again in 2018? Yes, very much would like to make my Mrs. Claus dress again. I made for Willow last Christmas because she looks so lovely in it. And we got quite a few nice compliments. A lot of them was, well, did your did your nanny make it? No, mummy made it. Um, but yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. Um, uh, but she did look lovely in it, and I'd like to make her another one. She will need another one next year because she will, she should be bigger, because she'll be two and a half by then. So, or well, coming up to two and a half. I would like to make another one, and I will be making another one for her. The other project I would like to make 
is um, if you subscribed to or followed in any way Lisa Box of Crochet last year and um, they did in the beginning of the year they did a mandala for um, Jenny who sadly passed away at the beginning of the year and I love that mandala pattern and I would like to make another one um, I've got it here for those of you who don't know you know I love making it for the sake of making it I don't know what to do with it um, at the moment it just sits in our living room and looks pretty and that's pretty much probably all it's going to be doing but it's the mandala that's made out of cotton yarn and I just love it I think it's beautiful it's slightly looks slightly more blue on screen than it is this is quite a vibrant lime green um, and this is sort of mint green here not blue but I loved making this it's the first project of this kind that I've ever made it's quite 3d um, it was a real challenge for me Something quite intricate like that I really enjoyed making it I, I will be making another one this year even the back look at the back even that it looks pretty I think I'm very proud of myself for completing that and it was a lovely lovely um, sort of way of honouring Jenny as well so yeah I would like to make another one of those and then the last one is tag someone um, I don't like to put pressure on people but at the same time I myself I like being tagged so hopefully other people will um, but a lot of people probably have already been tagged so I'm trying to think maybe Jodie Evan Gaze I don't think anyone or you haven't made one yet I don't know if you've been tagged and Holly Yarn Journey Crochet I'm not sure if you've been tagged if you would like to do it you two um, I would love to see your answers if you don't want to then don't um, and if any of you guys out there would like to do it and you haven't been tagged yet then um, please do you know say I tagged you that's fine um, and just let me know so I can come and see your answers if I don't already subscribe to you guys if I do subscribe then I will see them because I'm gradually working through catching up on videos so yeah have a lovely day guys I'm off um, I've got to get to work now so I'm going to do very little editing on this so it will be quite raw and that's why I completely the mess behind me I can see it so have a brilliant day and I will see you again next week Bye-bye.